Now, Pat and Paul, there is an incredible tea set there at the station that when I first saw it, I just thought it was really beautiful, but it's actually all made of chocolate. Do you guys see it? Yeah, it's right here in front I of us. I have it. Yeah. Oh my God, Suzanne. I'm <laughs> yeah. so afraid I'm gonna break it. Uh-oh, uh -oh. there goes the handle. <laughs> you did. I'm trying to call. I'm supposed you know? to pour, pour some for Paul. <laughs> Spot it's all tea. chocolate. I mean, it looks legit. It, Oops. Here. This is amazing. You can, <laughs> you can eat the <laughs> evidence. Just eat it up, and it's gone. Um, so wow. that is Boy, from the book Deceptive it. Desserts. I met the author, and interviewed her. We did some recipes, and we're going to show you her. She's exploded. She went big on BuzzFeed Instagram, and we get her very first TV interview. Check it out. So once you've got all that done. Step into Christine McConnell's dreamy, retro, twisted world. Everything is handmade, from her delicious edible confections to her vintage 1950s style clothing. So I just started making stuff, and I found, now I like never go buy clothes. Like I just go buy fabric, and I just make it myself. A secretary by day, she started posting photos of her hobbies online a few years ago. I didn't go to school for any of this. I don't have like a college degree or anything fancy. Um, I just, it was all just trial and error and like watching YouTube videos basically. So like if I had a question, YouTube was my teacher. Completely self-taught, she pushed herself and the images quickly went viral. I have like a horrifying sweet tooth and I always have. So I just started making things that were like my favorite thing to make and I Oh, just sorry, the realized I had a passion for it. She's created a fruit basket that's really dessert, a dinner that's actually donuts, intricate chocolate tea sets, and a Godzilla bridezilla cake. She's been called the Tim Burton of baking, and guess who she just struck up a partnership with? That was awesome. It's so cute. I'm actually going to be doing a project for the marketing for Tim Burton's next movie. Um, so that's a really, really exciting thing. And I haven't met him, but they're talking about working that out. and. I mean, obviously, he's such a massive inspiration. Her new book is already a bestseller called Deceptive Desserts, A Lady's Guide to Baking Bad. And while some of her projects take time, they don't require lots of money. It really depends on how much you want to spend. You can spend a bazillion dollars or you can go to Walmart and get basic groceries. Like, it really doesn't, you don't have to have a lot of money. I didn't have a lot of money when I was doing this entire book. Like, um, and everything building up to the book deal, like, I didn't, I was really just scraping by. And as a result of her determination, Christine is experiencing overwhelming sweet success. I was never really much of a dreamer as far as like thinking incredible things were going to happen to me. I just, I'm just like everybody else and like I, I just got really lucky. <laughs> now Pat and Paul, I hear from our producer Shane that you guys were eating the chocolate during the during the story. <laughs> I have to tell you, it's the actual chocolate from the book. So it's a, it's a little vintage, just so you know. Um, and she has a book signing <laughs> tomorrow night at the Grove at the Barnes and Noble at 7 p.m. if you, anybody would like to get a book signed. Plus we have recipes on our website. So you know, Pat and Paul, we just need to set aside a week to do one of those incredible recipes and we're set. Oh, wow. I'd <laughs> love to be involved in the eating process, but not the baking. But, but look at <laughs> what, what, what a career she's launched Seriously. for herself. That's what a talent. I know. Oh, isn't she incredible? Yeah. I love her. Yeah, she's the best. Okay. Old, ch old chocolate doesn't worry us either. <laughs> Not at our age. Yeah, me either. <laughs>